What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you've been using EVNG Putty, you probably love how simple and free it is. But there's a catch. When you open multiple lab devices, you end up with a scattered mess of separate windows and zero advanced features. No fun, right? Now that's where Secure CRT comes in handy. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to streamline your entire lab setup thanks to advanced tab sessions, easier session management, customizable fonts, and even keyword highlighting for catching those pesky CLI errors. Plus, I'll walk you through making sure Secure CRT your as your default console in EVNG. So every time you open up devices, your new setup is ready to go. Sounds good? Stick around to learn how I set this up in my own lab. And end of the tutorial, you'll be swapping out Putty for Secure CRT in no time. So let's get started. A Google Drive link that I found, which is going to be this one right here. Uh, this is version 7.1.1. Now the one that I have is an older one, 6.3. I think it's 7, which is perfectly fine for what I'm doing. So you just click on it and you go ahead and download it. Once you download it, what happens is it comes onto your screen here. You want to go ahead and extract it. Let's extract those files. And then the folder should show up with secure CRTC, which is right here. Once you have this, you open it. So this is the where you'll start. Right click and the install starts. Has a couple of things, has a crack, has a key and a readme. You can read me if you like to. And it does give you an idea of how to install this. Basically what it says is install the program. You pretty much go ahead and next, next, next. It just installed it. Once it's installed, you want to copy the contents from the crack folder and paste them into your default folder of your installation. Okay, this is what it means by that. So the crack folder has these two files. So you copy them basically, and you're going to go ahead and paste them in your own installation. So in my case, it's installed on C drive, program files, van software which is the company that makes the software secure crtc you're going to right click and you paste it i will not do it because i already have a license copy which is working for me so you paste it once you do that then you open up secure crtc once you open that it might ask you for a license key in my case as i said i have a license version so it's not asking me when it's asking you for the license key that's where you go to this key and you copy all this okay you copy all this and you paste it in that and then once you do that then you will see exactly what i'm seeing right now that it's open and it's connected you notice that when i start opening up my switches they open up in putty that was default now how do you change that into secure crtc so for that what you need to do is you need to go to your evng installation and if you've installed it it's again c drive program files evng for me you'll see something which is already there, which is, this is a registry that is there. So you need to right click and run it. And it's telling me that adding information unintentionally. So just a little warning sign that you might break something. Just go ahead and say yes to it. And then it's saying that the keys and values contained in this have been successfully added to your registry. Perfect. Window. All right, so there are a few things I ran into. So let me show you that one by one. Now you could open Secure CRTC uh, once you've installed it. Secure CRT. So you can open Secure CRT once you have. Once you have it open, a couple of options is you can go into Global Options and Web Browser. Make Secure CRT as the default application. That could be one option. So it automatically becomes your default. Now this is the easiest way to do it. Other way to do it would be if you go to Default apps and once you see this make sure you go for your sshh app here instead of this select the secure crt application and once that's done now let's try it now it's giving me the option to open secure crt now it opens up here now the advantage is this now let's try to close this and i want to go back to my other lab where i had options open right Okay, so the switch is stopped. Let's close this lab. Go to this lab here. It had more options here. Let's go ahead and right start all the selected nodes. Now let's start to click it one by one. So now if you open, 
right now they are going to be opening up in different how it was opening before i can change that to have them all into a single tab okay so another issue i ran into here was when i'm opening up all these options i'm opening different crtc options now which is kind of defeating the purpose because i wanted everything in one tab switch one switch two and so on right if that's the case that you run into like me today is the day of running into everything that i could configuration file of the secure crt which is under you go to this pc you go to you got to make sure that your app data if it's not shown that folder it would be hidden so make sure that you are if you go into view and make sure that hidden files or hidden folders are being shown once you do that go to the config global right click open with a notepad which i already did here this line right here single instance you can search it up make sure it has a one at the end if it's all zeros just change that to one right click save it and that's about it and then you can go back to your evng now i can double click and i'm getting all of them under one tab so i don't do once i rename them what they are i really don't have to go into different windows now i just have tabs and i can configure switch one first switch two switch three and so on it just makes life that much easier let's go ahead and test some things here let's say if you want to add a new node let's go ahead and add a new node here with the cisco switch i'll call it switch one the name let's add another node here same one we'll pick up let's call it cisco switch two so we have two switches here now let's go ahead and right click and start to add a couple of connections for ether channel and now i want to go ahead and turn them on let's open up these two switches with secure crt here just switch one that's what open switch two as well at the same time so easy peasy here they're conveniently on the same tab i'm going to go ahead and enable it config t and i have just created a quick config here that i'm going to use not on this one notepad here nothing special there if you notice that i'm just creating two vlans and i'm creating a ether channel from zero zero to zero one okay so this is something that we did in the last lab i'm just going to copy the same config okay so let's go ahead and copy that sure and then it should be done no error messages all good let's go ahead and work on the second switch now so second switch what i'll do is purposely i'll see if i can create an error here remember we were working on the video last time and we said that this became an error for us let's go ahead and do that uh switch name sure we can call it host name two copy it and i'm telling you in a minute that why am i doing that uh so it's saying this is what you want to paste sure but before i do that i'll just cancel that because i need to make sure i've enabled config t i'm in sure go ahead and paste it and if you notice that i got an error message command rejected and in trace is these are the things that i want it to tell me that okay this this has been an issue what about if something changes to up or down that should come up to me as well what secure crtc also does is if you go to this icon right here after the printer there is a session option here click on that a couple of things i'll tell you here first of all is appearance what kind of format would you like it to use so you can use what you prefer it has this traditional way of doing things if you like this kind of setup so pick what options you like and it will give you what you what would you prefer let's say i i like something which is more lighter or let's go with there's a traditional ye yellow black i think a lot of people like that let's select that for now and you'll notice it has changed to that right so certainly it gives you all those options if you like if you don't like it you just want to go back to standard sure you can go back other thing it lets you do is it will let you highlight so if you go to highlight here what you'll have to do is create a new 
let's call it my highlights. Just give it a name for now. Okay, up. Let's add that as a regular expression and click the setting. If it's up, make it green. Okay, save it. It's done that. Let's add a couple more. How about down? Add that. Down should be red, so sure. Save it, and we're done. Now, another thing that happened was the command rejected. I want that to pop up as well, right? So how about we do that? Add that, and let that be red also. Okay, so now, if you notice, up and down are showing up in red. And it's also showing me the command ejected. So the chances are that I will be able to quickly catch it if something happens. That's the main idea. So these are some of the features that Secure CRTC bring you. Obviously, you have what look and feel you get, tabs, the colors, the highlights, some of the basic features that can be handy when you're working on your labs. Hopefully, that was helpful. And I thought there was a lot of information, so might as well let's go ahead and summarize everything. If you're not using Secure CRTC, and if you want to, I've given you a download link. You basically go to download link, you open up the folder, and you go ahead and install it. Once you've installed the Secure CRTC with the setup, the crack folder has a couple of files that you need to drop them. And I'll leave the link for downloading this one in the description. Once you've done that, and it will go through an installation. Installation is done, it will ask you for a key. That's where you paste this, which is all good. At this point, you have secure CRTC installed on your laptop. Once you've installed it, the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and make that as a default. First, what you will have to really do is if you go into your installation of your EVNG, you back in your installation of your EVNG, you double click on this file and it let it run and it makes the changes. Once the changes are made, then you go to your default apps, look for SSH. Make sure this is set to secure CRTC. If it's not, it will be set up to this. You may click on secure CRTC, select as default, and that's it. And then if you open up all the files, it should open up in secure CRTC. The next thing that I ran into was when you when you start using it, instead of opening in tabs, it was opening multiple sessions, which kind of defeated the purpose. So in order to fix that, what you have to do is you had to had to actually go into where the uh, actual file is. So if you go into your where the installation is, config file, open the global. Once you open it up, you got to make sure that the single instance, you need to change that, add a zero instead of one. So delete the zero and replace it with a one file, save it, and you're good there. Last but not the least, I did show you how to change the font, how to add some colors so that if there's an error, it grab your attention quickly. So hopefully that was useful. All right, so that's a wrap. We just walked through installation of Secure CRT, making it a default for your EVNG labs, organizing your sessions tabs, customizing fonts and keyword highlights so you can catch those errors at a glance. If you found this helpful, hit that like button to let me know and consider subscribing if you want more in-depth tutorial on lab setups and all things IT. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or tips of your own. I'd love to hear from you. Well, thank you so much for watching and until next time, Keep honing on your networking skills. I'll see you the next one. Bye for now.